Hello everybody, welcome back to part number 31 of Let's Play English Campaign. <laughs> Medieval 2 Total War English Campaign, in fact. As we left off last time, everything in England, as I stated, is 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 fine. It's, it's recruiting, it's building, nothing exciting up there. Uh, down here we've just assassinated a uh, diplomat in Paris, and we're going to take the plunge and have him try to assassinate a family member. If he fails... Tough cookie, if he's successful. Muchos, muchos. Uh, a Danish family member is full stack. God bless you and your people, Lord. God bless you as well. Please, take up the French, feel free. That's all I hope he's doing. I hope he's going to march on the French. I might join him. Hell, let's get us communicated. I don't care anymore. I am mighty powerful English. Uh, so that's what's going to be happening up here. And I just took my spy from here up into Paris. He gained another uh, subterfuge point. So he's now a six subterfuge spy. And with that act, King Rufus became King Rufus the Malevolent. He gained an extra dread point and an extra uh, authority point. So now he's eight authority. So he's a religious king, commissioning the building of all the uh, churches and things like that. He's also a king that, well, capable of making men willingly follow a course to their demise. When he first started out as king, a young king, I think he had two authority? Something pathetic like that? Now he commands respect. You don't look him in the eyes without fear of reprisal. So that is King Rufus. Turned out to be quite a good king. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm quite tempted to give him an army of feudal knights and armoured swords and longbowmen, the elite army of the English, and have him rain hell fiery death on somebody. But by the time that happens, he'll be 55 and probably dead. So we'll forget that. Uh, I've just noticed also that down here in Jerusalem, one unit type. Why is there only one unit type in there? Maybe they've handed it over to the rebels, like somebody said on one of the comments, that the uh, Jerusalem would fall into rebel hands pretty soon after they had uh, been crusaded against. So I'm just going to take My Lord. Lawrence Bidell down to this city to see if it is still in Venetian hands, and if it's not, and it's rebel hands, and there's only one unit in there, we need to strike quickly! Oh, and just like that, in one turn, the French scarper like rats off a sinking ship. Another husband for Emini. Slightly better, but loyalty not particularly marvellous. 26 years old. Do I go for. Am I too picky with my uh, husbands? You know, I would like loyalty at least about six or seven. I don't want them turning tail on me. You know, command two, can live with that, chivalry. But look at this religious, I mean, I'm a religious faction. And religion level three. I mean, come on. We'll do it. I could do with more generals, that's the only reason why. I'm in desperate times. Oh, oh the Roman Empire of managed to piss off the new Pope as well as the old one. They must be doing something wrong. They're probably attacking the f somebody. In fact, let's find out. Where is the diplomacy scroll? There it is. They are enemies with Denmark and Poland. They're probably attacking the Poles. Yeah. Okay. So that is the Holy Romans causing trouble on themselves. Ah! Finally York is ready to upgrade. And lo, oh, here we go. We don't have enough money for all this. I'm getting overwhelmed by things. Okay. Right. So, what did I say we would do here? We would do roads first, and then we shall do the stables, the garrisons, the bowyers, that as well. And finish off with that. So we got the uh, building queue in Adana ready and waiting. As soon as we can start recruiting some troops, Antioch and possibly even Jerusalem will fall pretty quickly. Yes, my lord. As oh! You wish. There's another settlement here. Acre. Egyptian settlement. Quite lightly defended. Hmm. 
speak to our dignitary. My lord. Approaching their dignitary, sire. It's looking quite I shall continue tomorrow, sire. Excuse me. It's looking quite interesting down this side of the map, actually. It's quite lightly defended uh, settlements. Rather than expanding across this way, I might actually consider expanding down this way. Hmm. Quite a quandary I'm finding myself in. A, a pleasant quandary. You know, a quandary as if, hmm, who do I attack? I'm spoiled for choice. I'd rather be spoiled for choice than have no choice at all. And up here, yeah, the, as I said, the French just seem to have disappeared. There was like a few units on the border, and now they've disappeared. And here it is now time to take the plunge Need someone removed, and have sir. Toby of Old Saren try and assassinate a family member. Just name the target, my lord. 37%. Name thy target, sire. Keep your fingers crossed. This could end in tragedy. Cla Ah, he's sticking with what he knows. He's trying the old... Oh, he's not. I thought he was trying the old snake trick again. He's trying to... Bit, okay, he's tired. Hey. Hey. Oh, don't kill him, please! Oh, he got away, he got away. Ooh. Thank the Lord. Do you lose a point? Who do you want dead? No, nope, he's still the same. Still the same. Ooh dear. Okay, well, we, we tried. We tried. We give it a try. God loves a trier. As they say, I think. I recall something like that. Orders. As you wish. Okay, you're continuing tomorrow, sir. Good upgrade. And what else did we see? What else was upgraded? I think it was London, actually. But London can wait, because we haven't even finished building all of these yet. We'll build the council chambers and the tavern and the academy, then we'll upgrade it. That sounds like a plan to me. Alright, so uh, taking stock of things. Yep, everything is still sweet as a nut. We've got 2,900 to spend. I might consider buildings. No, I won't. We'll take what we can get. So, life up in the north here, of our sort of northwestern Europe, is steady away. We're just waiting for someone to turn coat. Um. Okay. Uh, wait for somebody to turn coat uh, and, and to strike the first blow. And down here, we are almost at the point where we can start recruiting troops. Just need to wait for these buildings to construct, and then we can commence our campaign down there. And yes, Mr. Lawrence Bidell. I wonder if he can. Yes, my lord. Stopping here, sire. In fact, quickly, quickly, quickly! I want to do this. I want to try this out. I might try bribing the Egyptians. They already have once, uh... Betrothed. Jasper, yes, yes. Have a marriage. Enjoy yourself. Have some children. Sire. There is something you wish to speak of? No. Oh. You bad. Very well. Marzalama. Marzalama. Without question, sire. Oh, the Venetians still own it. But only just. Councillor Barbus the Crusader. Oh, look at this. Look at his stats. He's a Oh, 35 as well. That's what you get when you successfully uh, crusade. They are revolting as well. Next turn. Yes, my lord. I bribe the Venetians. See if they accept. Hmm. Okay, so yeah. Next turn, I bribe the Venetians. And hopefully they may just hand over... Jerusalem to me. If they're revolting and it's more trouble than it's worth, they may just want to wash their hands of it. Adana is doing everything it can do. Um, and I will do the house key. Oh, we have a red one here. Well, we'll sort this out next time. Join me then.